I don't think that there is any more talked about sewing machine foot than the walking foot. Yes, you know this one. If you haven't, don't have one, you've certainly heard of it, the walking foot. They can be quite expensive and they're talked about a lot. So let's talk about it today and see what it's really good for, what it's not good for, and if it might be right for you. Welcome back. If you are just uh, catching us for the first time here, welcome. My name is Evelyn Wood and I'm the creator of VintageSewingSchool.com. Uh, and here on this channel, we talk everything about garment sewing. And what we're talking about is the notorious walking foot. <laughs> so we'll make this short and sweet because I'm sure you've heard of this sewing foot. Now, all sewing machines come with a variety of different feet and I think your two main ones that you use are just your regular foot and your zipper foot. Your zipper foot has way more uses than just a zipper by the way but the other one that I think gets the most attention or talked about is this walking foot and we're going to go through a list of like what it's good for, all the different areas so you can help decide if it's right for you in your sewing because this is one of the most expensive sewing feet that you can get. I mean, look at it, it's pretty chunky, I, you know why. So there is only one answer and that you need to decide if it's right for you depending on your sewing. So let's talk through. First of all, what is a walking foot and what does it even do? So it's often called an even feed foot or something like that because basically, as you know, when you sew regularly, you've got your fabric here. And so as you sew, the top layer actually, you know, this pushes down the top layer gets pushed out this way. And I'm sure you've seen it more than once where your top layer, you might get pushed along and you've end up with more on top, right? Or an extra little bubble of fabric in between your pins because it just hasn't been um, evenly um, distributed between the two layers. It's quite normal and you can certainly like, you know, maneuver it and tell it what to do. This is what your walking foot does. So, because when you look at your sewing machine, you'll see the feed dogs underneath, those little teeth there, they come up and down, up and down, and that's what feeds the fabric through in the machine. And so the walking foot essentially has a second set of feed dogs of teeth on top. So when those teeth um, come down under the machine, this is where the top ones for your walking foot kick in and these top ones here as you can see when I move this up and down they kick in and so at all times you've got feet underneath and then your walking foot on top and it literally like walks your fabric and so it keeps like its feed dogs on top as well as below essentially and so they stagger and step when one kicks in the other one goes and so it keeps a much more even feed over your fabric. Okay, I hope that explains like how it actually works because now you're probably already thinking, I bet I know what it's good for. Well, one thing it's really good for is knit fabrics or stretch fabrics. So what it does is it just helps minimize that stretching rather than just pushing and, and stretching out that fabric as it goes, it just staggers it along and it really helps. So makes a huge, huge difference with knitwear if you're trying to sew any seams on your regular machine versus your overlocker or serger, it is really useful for those knit fabrics. It's also useful for slippery fabrics when it wants to move and slip everywhere, having that extra feed dogs on top, that extra help really helps it stop slipping everywhere as well can be super useful if you're pattern matching. So often it's just to eliminate that problem where if you, your regular foot will just push this top layer unevenly sometimes and it can uh, cause you all sorts of problems when you're trying to be so precise in pattern matching and having that one on top can just keep it all even and when you pattern matching makes it a bit easier. It's also really shines in bulky and thick fabrics. So when you've got lots of layers, if you haven't experienced this already, you will, you'll know that it is so hard to get that um, through and get it even because it really does want to push that top layer out and you always end up with bubbles or extra fabric in your top layer and between your pins, there's always little puckers, things like that. Having that second set of teeth that feed it through with thick and bulky fabric is really, really useful. And think quilting, because again, it's basically just really thick fabric when you've got all those layers, that's where your walking foot really helps rather than just pushing that top layer of fabric, it keeps them all together much more evenly. All right, I know you're asking, do you need one? 
No, you absolutely do not need one of these in your sewing uh, repertoire. For example, I've had this, it came with my machine 20 odd years ago. I've rarely used it. <laughs> I just haven't. My, I mean, but it is useful and let me explain keep explaining. So my big philosophy is that the better you know how to use your machine, the better you're going to get at everything. So you should become the master of your machine. And it's a skill that you learn actually being able to manipulate and maneuver the fabric as in you tell the fabric what to do at the machine as it's going through. You don't just let it go and you're like, okay, go sew. And it just does its thing. You're there guiding it and telling it every single little bit and really manipulating that fabric as it sews to, to get the results. And that is a really big skill that you, you really want to focus on because then you can sew anything without any fancy gadgets. And it just makes everything easier when you learn that skill. So it doesn't, you know, you don't get all these fancy things to not have these skills. It does really help though. So if you are really struggling or you do lots of knitwear, for example, on your regular machine, it'll be absolutely useful or really thick and bulky fabric, super useful because you'll still learn those skills that you need, but it's just another aid to help you in sewing those things. So I always say it doesn't lack for the learning and developing those skills, but it's an aid, it's a tool, and it depends on what you're sewing individually, whether it's worth it or not for you. If you have enough of these um, knitwear, these thick bulky items, slippery things, that you, it warrants the expensive walking foot, Absolutely. Or maybe you're lucky enough that you have enough um, spare cash for all of the little fancy things that you could possibly get. Then yeah, it is definitely very, very useful as you're learning to help you guide through those fabrics, but it's not needed. You can absolutely learn to do it by just, you know, getting the feel of the fabric and you'll develop your skills as you go along. So I would absolutely love to know, do you think that a walking foot is for you? I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. And if you have any uh, comments, thoughts, helpful hints for any of our other um, watchers here today in our community, please leave them down below as well. And remember to read all the comments because we are a sewing community here. We're about helping each other sew better clothes. So. I look forward to reading your comments. All right. And if you are looking for other sewing videos on different things to help you with your machine, I have made so many. The better you know your machine and all the feet that you use, the better garments you're going to sew. So check the description box for a link to other videos as well. Until next time, my sewing friends, happy sewing. Bye.